so brake confirmed on, throttle to idle, choke on, mag one on. Clear prop, go in the stick. We have engine start, confirmed oil pressure is rising. Mag two on within five seconds. Choke on, add power, log engine starts. So we're just going to taxi uh, out of the way, it's a northerly component to the wind today, so we're going to use runway 31. We'll come over here where we've got the shelter of the trees to try and reduce the noise impact on our immediate neighbour. Throttle back to idle and the brakes are just uh, so much less sticky than they used to be. We just keep going unless I apply brake pressure. Okay, so brakes on, throttle back up to 2,400. Oil pressure, top of the band. All good. Okay, so um, today's flight is a very short one from my base at Ashcroft into the local farmer's field near my house. So it's uh, about a 30 minute flight due west effectively. And the, uh, it's a couple of times a year where Sam cuts the, uh, the crop and allows me to, to land in um, what is effectively a stubble field, but a very nice stubble field. So today is one of those days. He always times it perfectly. He gets it just before the weather is due to turn, and it is due to turn. It's not actually quite as good today as they forecast, but it's definitely the best day in the short window that I have. We've got rain forecast to come in from uh, possibly this afternoon, but certainly from a couple of days' time, and then lasting for most of the week. So this is possibly the only flight that I will get, uh, get in this year. Now, at the moment, my wind is reporting on Skydeam 357 and 14 knots. Um, and the orientation of the field is east-west. So, uh, simply put, I um, really I don't have an, uh, an option to land all the way. I'm going to have to land westerly. It's going to give me quite a significant crosswind. Um, in the region of uh, full crosswind, so uh, 14, 15 knots. It's not a problem in the gyro, but I wouldn't want to be bringing my fixed wing uh, in there. Uh, I, have, I have looked at it. I've got about 375 metres diagonal on the field, which is plenty for the Eurofox. But the challenge is that the approach is over a uh, major road, an A road, with frequent double-decker buses and other high stuff, and there's also a couple of tall traffic lights plus... Um, Traffic lights plus uh, a mobile phone transmitter. So uh, all of that means that I would have to clear the field by about 100 feet, which obviously is massively reducing my my uh, landing roll available. Now, the gyro, that's not a problem because you can fly a very steep approach path, but, but in the Eurofox, uh, it flies much more conventional. Uh, and I'm just not comfortable. I'd have enough field uh, remaining. Not, certainly not my current level of experience. So putting that one on hold for now and I'm uh, going in the gyro. So I'm going to need to talk to Hard Ponsor Airborne which is 120055 and then I'm also going to need to move because it's just into the Liverpool control zone so I'm going to need to swap over to Liverpool 119855 but I'll need Hard to get transit through their ATZ. It's quite tricky as space around here. I guess that's true of all some parts of the country. 1018 is what apparently Liverpool are reporting, which is not far away from my guess, based on airfield elevation. Okay, so if you can see this, I'm not sure whether it'll come out on the video, but here is our base at Ashcroft. This is Manchester airspace, this is Liverpool, this is the low level corridor. We're heading effectively due west into Harden, so I need a transit through their ATZ the altitudes that, that we tend to fly, so that's normally not a problem. But this dash line here is Harden's radio mandatory zone, so I'll be talking to them soon after takeoff, asking for the transit, and then their radio, uh, their RMZ radio mandatory zone, lasts until the, the Flint Bridge, which is normally my point 
that I would exit the fat. I should really just drag that over there like we've done that, so we'll head for the Flint Bridge. And there is actually a, if I bring up my um, note house, and I come down to... Ah, it's gone, okay. There was an equestrian event, uh, which was just going to keep me around Ness, which is going to allow me to stay off Shoreham, but, but that seems not to be current. We'll see whether it is in fly, but I tend to avoid it anyway. So uh, here is where we are going, Oldfield Farm. This is the Liverpool control zone uh, boundary, so it is just in the zone. If I was over here, West Kirby, um, as long as I was uh, below 1,500 feet, which obviously it would be on Atlantic, um, it would not be an issue. I would need to talk to Liverpool, but Liverpool are very accommodating, so shouldn't be a problem. It can be a problem if the runway is uh, if it's an easterly wind than they're on zero 09, but last time I checked, it was well, it's actually swinging more around to the north now, 36014. I can call up Liverpool's weather. Harden is the most, is the nearest for us, 3409, Liverpool 35010. So they might be switching on to 09 later, but uh, can't okay at the moment, so that'll do. Okay, engine is up to temperature, as you can now see. So we are good to go with our power checks. I'm just going to check behind, I'm just going to cover the stick with my knee, hold on the brakes, because these brakes really don't want to hold now. There's 3000 RPM, as I get to near four, May hold, it is holding. So we have 4,000 motor RPM, just checking the T's and P's are all good. Oil pressure has now come down. Going to lose mag 1, and you can see it drops about 75. Mag comes back in. Lose mag 2, drops about the same. That's what we're looking for. They're both working, and they are working similarly. So back down to idle. Okay, all is good. T's and P's are all good for takeoff. So at this point my light's coming on, my fuel pump is coming on, my transponder is going on to uh, Alpha Charlie Sierra and we're scorking 7000 the VFR code, just checking that we are on uh, Ashcroft's 80 com, which we are, and we will just make our call. Ashcroft traffic, driving up to golf, uniform, India Romeo Oscar is lining up runway 31 for departure to the west of Ashcroft. Okay, visor coming down, brakes off, check clear on final approach, which it is, confirm that the windsock shows this is the most appropriate runway, which it does. Runway's in great condition. We all are here at Ashcroft, to be fair. Okay, so we can see from the windsock that we're pretty much pointing directly into wind, so brakes are confirmed off. Brake to flight, holding it on the brakes, bringing the power back up to 2000 RPM, stick forward but not too forward. This is my pre road tape button, pressing that now. Open, there's a squeak as the rotor begins to turn, that's the belt slipping basically. Just adding power back, trying to maintain 2000 until the rotor gets about 100, at which point they're synchronised. There you go, the little judder there. And they're synchronised now, so just continue to add power until we get to 3000 motor RPM, 200 rotor. That's pure take complete. Ashcroft traffic, Golf Romeo Oscar is rolling 3 1 Ashcroft. So, step back, full power. Wind is now four from the right, nose wheel is going to come up, there it goes, catch it. Main wheels are up, flying ground effect until we have 60, which we do, climb away. Using some right pedal to rotate into wind and putting a bit of forward trim forward to take some of the stick forces out. That's that hand switch on the top of the column here. Okay, just turning to avoid the farm and powering back. Uh, the cows seem quite unfazed by us, but try to be neighbourly. Now oh, they're all lying down, they're quite used to it. Ashcroft traffic, Golf Ruby Oscar departing west, changing Liverpool 119 SM855 in Ashcroft. So, temporarily, I'm going to, there's nobody at Ashcroft at the moment, we're quite early in the morning, so I can quickly get off the frequency. I'm just getting near the Liverpool control zone VRP, which is um, just over to our right, we'll park. Just worth having a quick listen out before we move on to our.
so we're going over there. At the moment, the weather looks better over there. Which is good. I hope it stays like that. Built the park down to our right, you can see the cars going around. You can hear them actually from Ashcroft before. So we're just coming up to a thousand feet. A little bit more forward trim. And now you can commence and turn to the right to pick up a more nor uh, more westerly heading. We're going southwest just to avoid all the park. And I heard nothing. That well, doesn't mean there is nothing. But I'm just going to drop back onto Harden and pick up Harden's Atis. Sure, we take nine ten right, getting three zero zero degrees. Okay, so they're on uh, information Charlie, QNH 1018, runway 04 in use, so that is suggesting a slight easterly component. See Harden, S, uh, Airbus Brook, same place basically, so it's right on the nose now. Shiny white buildings, 1,250 feet. Harden Radar, good morning. Golf, Uniform, India, Romeo, Oscar, request basic service and ATZ transit. Of Uniform India, Romeo off guard, radar, hello to you, QNH 1018, back message. 1018, set to Golf Uniform India, Romeo Oscar, gyrocopter from Ashcroft to a private site at Hessel on Wirral, just to the north of Beeston Castle, 1,250 feet. Uh, one POB with Charlie, requesting um, transit of your ATZ, entering from the east and exiting northwest. Off Romeo Oscar Road, just walk 0430, basic service, QNH 1018. Just walking 0430, basic service 1018, Golf Romeo Oscar. We 69, turn right, and it's 360 degrees, cleared, I left approach on wind 04, QNH 1018. Right, uh, heading 360, turn I left approach, uh, runway 04, QNH 1018, so we 69. Okay, so there's a Shawbury helicopter. Got from we off here, cleared across eight to there's one thousand two from the sea report overhead. Clear to transit and report overhead, altitude one thousand two hundred feet. Go from your Oscar. Got from your Oscar traffic you may see an EC one four five helicopter on a nine mile ILS approach for runway zero four will be going around to the back to the right turn. Copy to go for Remy Oscar. I think I've got him on my traffic display, but he's going to be on 04 up here and then he's going to do a right turn. So we need to keep a good lookout for him for sure. So we've been cleared at 1200 feet, so we were at 1250, so just coming down slightly. So I don't know whether this is going to come out on the, um, on the video, but Harden Airbus Broaden is straight ahead, the white building, so here we are. Here's hard. here's their ATZ, so I'm just going to turn around a little bit more like that. So we're cleared to transit through their ATZ and to report overhead. These are the 04, this is this is the Shoreby traffic, so I have got him now on my traffic display. You can see down there, he's just disappeared again, but he's just, there he is, lining up for the 04 up here. So we'll be able to track him on that. So this is reading from Sky Echo, 
this is reading from Pilot Aware, and they're both being, they're both picking up the traffic, so that's good. So even though I haven't got him visual yet, and I wouldn't expect him to too far out, I have got him on my traffic display, which is all good. And we can see that the weather is improving over towards the west. So just to put this into context, where are we? We're overhead Cheshire at the moment, so we're looking towards the Welsh hills, the Cluidian hills initially. Snowdonia is behind, but we can't quite see it at the moment. At the 1 to 2 o'clock position you can see the River Mersey and Liverpool is in the distance. I can make out the... Six, nine, traffic due east of the aerodrome by 8 miles routing westbound through the overhead, 1,200 feet to the gyrocopter. OK, so he's just given my information to the inbound Shoreby traffic. So Liverpool is over there. So this side of the River Mersey we have some white buildings, which you might be able to see, that is Stanlow Oil Refinery. To the right of those buildings, the land is flat, and then there are some hills, that's Hellsby and uh, Prodsham Hill. So Liverpool Airport is basically directly beyond the right end of the um, Stanlow Oil Refinery buildings, and then follow the waterfront round to the west, to the left, and then you can just about, you may be able to make out, I can quite clearly see Liverpool Cathedral, the waterfront, and then the red of the docks um, at Seaforth beyond. Down to our right we have the Shops Union Canal and then the railway line going into Chester. We're just about to pass over. The town of Chester is, is right in front of us now. Uh, there's a heart down there. Somebody's cut a heart into a field. How yeah, sweet. So the flat plains of Cheshire are off to our left, to the south. I can see the Shoreby traffic, he is 1,000 feet above me and descending, so I'll put him at 2,200, he's doing a missed approach, go around, so he will be descending down towards the threshold and then climbing away at uh, 250 feet or so. He's, he'll be a lot faster than us, that's not a problem, and his flight path should be below us, so there shouldn't be a rotor wash issue at the point that we're, we'll be over flying the... Job is 69, service wind 3, 4, 10 degrees, 9 and option with 0 and 4, clear to approach. Clear to approach, shall we, 69. Job is 69, that proves mentioned gyro comms traffic, now believed to be 6 miles to the east of the airdrop westbound. Confirmed, 6 miles. And I can see him here on my traffic display, so he's... Yeah, he's a lot, a lot nearer, he's currently... 400 feet below me, and descending. So TCPs are all fine, I've kept my landing lights on, they're LEDs, they, don't, they won't burn out, not for a while anyway I hope. And we're flying through an ATZ where there is uh, traffic. So I've got a fairly high cruise setting. 4,800 or so, which is... from Oscar, that EC-145 helicopter now just approaching a three-mile final from Wave 04 Airport to go around with the right turn. Thank you, I've got him on my traffic display, you go from your Oscar. We'll be making the right turn, climbing to altitude 2,900. Romeo Oscar. Hi, Tornado, good morning. Short breeze, 6 5 on handover, quarter from 0 4 3 2 altitude 2,900, click 1 0 1 7, traffic over. Over 65, Harden Radar, hello to your identified on handover, traffic service, QNH 1018. Traffic service, QNH 1018, search up to 65. Short Route 65, Vector Live, approach runway 04, flight heading 29 at 0 degrees, climb to altitude 3100 feet. He's just entering the ATZ now, by helicopter. Short Route 65, just check the altitude 3100 feet. 3100 feet, short Route 65. Amen. Still can't see it visual, but I know where I'm looking. It's so hard to spot traffic visually. You know, we're probably about three to four miles apart at the moment. Just can't see him. So he's going to be doing a right turn and climbing. So that rotor wash might be an issue. We'll just, we should. Got from you, Oscar. EC 145 is approaching one mile final, 500 feet. Get that traffic. Negative goal for him, Oscar.
There's a 145. Corby 69, okay, go on. Corby 69, Roger. I should see his blades, surely. Golf Romeo Oscar visual. Golf Romeo Oscar, thank you. Chubby 65, have you going on the truck since when ready? Chubby 65, ready something. Chubby 65, that's the low approach with 0 4, right turn, heading 183. There he is, right ahead now. Quite high. Chubby 65, have you going on the truck since when ready? Chubby 65, have you going on the truck since when ready? Chubby 65, have you going on the truck since when ready? Chubby 65, correct. Okay, so now rotor wash might be an issue because he is much higher than I was expecting him to be. And he's now turning towards us, but he's a lot higher than us. I don't know whether it's going to come out on the cameras, but he's up there. Shall we stick around to walk high then? Yep, she'll be six nine. Well, there he is. Show me six nine. Thank you. Identifying traffic service sectors as approach on window four. That bridge mentioned traffic due east of you left and half a mile past the house. Traffic service sound looking for that traffic. She'll be six nine. So we need to think about this. Here's rotor wash. We'll go that way. So it should be it should be okay. So there's the Airbus Beluga down there at about eleven o'clock. Doing a wing collection, no doubt. The wind on those wind socks is. Yeah, no, it's definitely saying it's a northwest. Sure, six nine traffic, right one o'clock, six miles, northwest bound, company EC135, 3100 feet, say left. Sure, six nine is visual that traffic. Sure, six nine, thank you. I'll just send you downwind as an SHC behind us. Romeo Oscar, overhead, altitude 1,200 feet. Go for Romeo Oscar, right. Go for Romeo Oscar, retain the squawk, remain outside control, there, space, free call, Liverpool radar, 119, decimal 855, bye bye. Retain the squawk, remain outside, Liverpool, 119, decimal 855, go for Romeo Oscar. Liverpool Radar, good morning, Golf Uniform India, Romeo Oscar, requesting basic service and zone entry. Sorry, last station calling, uh, good morning to you, just trying to get the registration. It's Golf Uniform India, Romeo Oscar. Golf Uniform India, Romeo Oscar, Liverpool Radar, morning, fast
All right, Golf Uniform India Romeo Oscar, gyrocopter from Ashcroft to a private site at Heswell on Wirral, currently uh, within Hardens ATZ, squawking 0430, requesting basic service outside and zone entry to let down at Heswell. Golf Romeo Oscar, Russia, squawk 5051, and the basic service. 5051, basic service, currently 1,200 feet, uh, 1018, Golf Romeo Oscar. Dear Romeo Oscar, thank you. As you please to controlled airspace, CFR, not above altitude, 1,500 feet on that QNH 1018. Report when you're uh, letting go in front of the plane. Roger, cleared to enter VFR, not above 1,500 feet on 1018, and will co Golf Uniform India Romeo Oscar. So what happened then is I'm still within Harden's ATZ just about as we can see here but they um, transferred me, they know I'm going into Liverpool's airspace so they transferred me on to Liverpool. That doesn't normally happen that early on, normally they keep me until we get to the Flint Bridge. So I originally retained the Squawk, gave Liverpool a call, told them who I am, where I want to go and he gave me a different Squawk, 5051 which is now on here, and as soon as I put that in, given he knew roughly where I was, I told him I was within the Harden ATZ, very quickly he was able to see us, and then he confirms that we are where we say we are, that we're altitude, because our transponder broadcast our altitude is what we said it was, and then it's quiet at the moment, it is, what is the time, um, 9.29 local, so, no problem, straight through, he just wants me to let him know um, when we're letting down which won't be long. So back to, I was talking to the cruise, uh, I'm set at, it's about 4.9 now, flying along at night, just under 90 miles an hour, with ground speed's only 55 knots, which is 62 or so miles an hour, that's because we're flying in to this wind, which now seems to have moved round to an easterly 010 at 1.3. I can see from the smokestacks over there that it that is more of a westerly. So it's all over the place. I'm, I'm more inclined to believe my eyes than I am an algorithm. So that's telling me that there's still a westerly component, albeit a north-westerly component to the wind. So I'm still going to select. I basically have only got an east-west approach into this runway. And it's on the borderline at the moment. It really favours a northerly, which we don't have. So we're going to take the westerly which is also the, the approach that is less troublesome to the, um, the livestock around the farm. So that is our plan, unless the local conditions when we get near a will look substantially different, which I don't think they will. So basically we're pointing at Heswell now, we're just doing a direct track. This is... Um, the footbridge we've just passed over. This is the Connors Key power station down to our left. Gas fired power station. If I, if I understand correctly, it's also a major junction point for a lot of the uh, offshore wind farms and not just the local ones you might be able to see out here in Liverpool Bay, but actually all the way up to Scotland. There's a cable that runs underneath Wirral. They put it in a couple of years ago. And it joins up, I believe, at Connors Key because it had the capacity to take all of that load. It was the nearest place to Scotland, would you believe, that had the capacity to take it. Now, I may be wrong, but I've definitely heard or read that somewhere. So we have just exited Harden's RMZ. We're currently in Class G, just outside Liverpool Control Zone. So I think, I don't quite know, but the way that Skydemon picks up the 
the weather. It's obviously a mix of the data from the local stations. Plus also, I think it, well, I tell it what cruise period I'm expecting to fly. And it then can see our ground speed. So it can, to a degree, work out the strength of the wind from that, I would imagine. I don't know. It's useful, but it's not entirely accurate. So this is uh, the de Estuary, which I absolutely love flying over. Um, and this northeastern section of it is covered in this unusual grass, which makes it a, a, a fantastic place for migratory birds and for bird watchers, but not so great for sunbathers and boaters and swimmers. It's gradually silting up. The main channel is over to our left, to the southern end. And uh, of course in history, that eventually leads into Chester. Another field approach, Golf Bravo, Oscar Romeo, Lima. I'm doing a 180 back to Blackpool because the five base. Uh, Golf Romeo, Lima, okay, that's copy. Uh, should you need any, uh, just let me know. Do you want me to just give anybody a call? My next call is Waters, so I'll be grateful for that, please. Yeah, so the Chester used to be the, the more significant port, but as the river silted up, the um, trade eventually moved to Liverpool, which is obviously much nearer the coast, and via the Mersey and the Ship Canal, into um, Manchester even. So this is Neston, off to our right, three o'clock position, and as he, there's a very significant restricted area, it covers a large part of Southern Wirral, can't fly much beyond Neston over there, and that is the Capenhurst restricted zone, which is that one there, which is some sort of nuclear facility. I've never quite figured out quite what sort of nuclear facility, but anyway, you're not allowed to fly over it below altitude, I think 2,500 feet, and you're not going to get a VFR clearance above 2,500 feet. Uh, in Liverpool controlled airspace, so basically it is a, a void area. This is the town of Parkgate down to the, the right now, maybe the two o'clock position. Lovely little seaside place, very you know, twice a year on a neat tide. Is it neat tide? What's that? A particularly high tide. The water will come right up to uh, to the sea wall there. And in the time of Nelson, I think Nelson's mistress used to be uh, a Parkgate resident, so he used to sail the ships in there, so you can see you wouldn't get very far nowadays. That's the silting effect for you. And then just coming up now, we have uh, Heswell Golf Course on the nose. I need to think this through now. We're at 1,100 feet and we're around about 300 feet um, above sea level our landing site. So that's putting me currently, I'm now back into 1,200, at about a four, uh, an 800 foot, no, 900 foot height above the ground. No, that's okay for my circuit. If I fly my circuit at say 1100 feet, that will work. I don't know why that's just dropped off. It's probably going to give me a radar control service as we come into the zone in a moment. over St Peter's Church. Well, my daughter is getting married in not long now, five weeks I think, six weeks. Gate School down to the right, St Peter's School just over here, this is the town of Haswell. My office is just over there, you can just see the green roof of it now. Got off Remy Oscar, just approaching my landing site, request the surface wind at Liverpool please. Uh, yeah, the wind check is 017 degrees, 8 knots. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's already helping. Just waving at a friend, fellow pilot, who might be looking out, sometimes does see me. It's about to fly over home. Let me ask, I'm just letting down at Heswell now. I'll be on the ground uh, until sort of late afternoon and I'll call you on lifting. Yeah, go for a minute. Uh, obviously, you never know what the weather's going to be doing much later, but I anticipate we'll be using runway 09 soon. So, you know, so yeah, just give us a call a bit later. Bye bye. That's copied Wilco, go for a For radar, good morning, go for a Victor, Romeo, Oscar, just outbound from runway 09, routing towards the Lima building. Go for a Victor, Romeo, Oscar, Liverpool, radar, good morning, she report when you complete that, the Lima building. Let's go, go for a minute to Remy Walker. Yeah, this might be landing with a tail tailwind, which isn't the best. Yeah, it was actually quite tricky. The wind was all over the place on landing, so there was a little bit of sideways drift on uh, on touchdown. Always best avoided, but nothing too significant. And we are down. So lights coming off, fuel pump coming off, strobes coming off, and we're just waiting for the rotors to spin down now. So as the controller just said then, that um, the wind is all over the place today, so um, yeah, they may be on zero nine at the point that I left later on, which I was expecting, that's definitely a possibility, so I will just need to be aware of that. It's not actually much I can do about it really, I mean, you know, I basically just try and time it. Okay, we're just going to deviate towards the team for a bit, if that's okay. Another go for the Oscar. So I can come off. I can come off to standby.